Well, hello there, Eric Griffith here with Griptastic Industries, and today we're going to walk through step by step just how to create a BenQ account. This is going to give us a ton of different options. One, to be able to change wallpaper. If space is getting too boring for you, you can change your wallpaper to something hopefully educational or college sports esque. Um, you can also link your Google Drive account, OneDrive, or Dropbox to the board so that you can save files to it that you create on the board or op open up files on the board from any one of those applications. So that's awesome too, as well as create some custom bookmarks there to quickly link to different things that we want to showcase in our classroom. So before we get started, we have to jump on over to our laptop because hopefully what they did is they set up your BenQ account by sending you a link to your Gmail or your email, whatever it is, right? You get this link and I have my laptop up here, my Chromebook. And so you should get an email from uh, IAM at no-reply.benq.com. So as an administrator for BenQ for my school, I had to put all my teachers' names or I linked it into our um, Windows Active Directory and every one of my teachers who needed to got a link all right so first of all if you didn't get one of these emails you need to contact your technology uh, person and have them create this account for you so that you can start this here once you get this link you have 72 hours to activate it otherwise you're going to have to go back to the portal and click send me a link again okay so i'm going to go ahead and get started and we're going to set up our account right now so i'm going to zoom in a little bit it says hey Here's the link that you got. This information right here will be different from what you see on screen for me. Um, it may or may not show the icon. It just depends on how your technology department set up viewing images within Gmail, okay? So I'm gonna click verification link. It's gonna go to a website right now and it'll go to the uh, BenQ service portal and it's gonna ask us to create a password. So they already know our username our username is either going to be something that's in that email letting us know what it is, or the easier thing for us admins to do is to make their email address the same. All right, so I'm going to create a password. Okay, and then I'll hit submit. And then hopefully if I type that password in correctly two times in a row, it'll say congratulations, your email has been verified. All right, so that's the first step. The next is if we go to log in. So it wants me to log in. My email is Mr. Griptastic at mplsd.org. And then I'm going to type in my password. Okay. And I'll hit log in. So now once I'm logged in, it's going to prompt me to create a two factor authentication um, right after we agree to the terms of service here. So, yes, you have to agree to the terms of service. We'll hit continue. And it says, hey, do you want to set up two factor? Now, as a technology director, I would ask your technology person or the uh, principal or whomever set this up for you um, if you are required to do that. In this instance right here, I'm gonna skip because I don't need another device that I need a two-factor just for this demo account, all right? So I'm gonna hit skip, but again, check with your folks to see if you have to do that or not, all right? Then it's gonna log you in. Now, depending on your access, if they set everything up right, you should only have access to AMS. If you have some other things over here, then maybe you have some other responsibilities within the district as far as digital signage or inventory. All right, but the only thing you really need to work uh, worry on right now is AMS. So if I click on AMS, it's going to take us to our account, and this is where we're going to go ahead and update our wallpaper and uh, set some other settings, all right? So the first thing is I can go ahead and click this image here and grab a picture of myself. This will put my picture in the lower right hand, or I'm sorry, lower left hand corner of the screen. So when I log in, my students will be able to see this picture. The other thing is maybe whoever set up your account for you, they put your first and your last name there and it freaks you out to have your children know your first name. So what you can do is you can go ahead and change that right up here in the corner you can see mine just says Mr. Griptastic. If I click on this, I have the ability to click account right here. And then I can go in and hit edit right down here at the bottom of the screen. And then this is where I can change that name. I'm going to leave it as Mr. Griptastic because that's how I want my children to address me. 
but uh, you could change it to something else school appropriate, all right? Once that's done, you hit change or whatever, then you can close this tab and it's gonna get you right back BenQ account. So that's the first thing you can do is make sure that your name is in there correctly in the way you want your kids to address you because they're gonna see this when you log in. The second is you can click this button right here and grab a picture. Um, if you have a school photo or you know something uh, college teams or appropriate or the school's logo, you can change that and add that there. But what I'm going to focus on right now is the wallpaper right here. Okay, I've already searched for a picture of a beach, found one that I liked, right? And I right clicked and saved this image uh, and downloaded it to my downloads folder here on my Chromebook. All right, you don't need a Chromebook to do this. Honestly, any device that has web um, a web browser on it should be able to change this as long as you know how to save a file that you download and then link to it once it's downloaded, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit because I know right where this file is. Then I'm going to click select image right here and it's going to bring up a file uh, or a menu that allows me to do this. So I have a background saved called beach. I'm going to go ahead and click on that file and click open and I can drag and drop and move this around because this image is not exactly square to uh, the board, right? So if you pick an, an image that's huge or oblong or rectangled, it's going to allow you to move it around and center that image because, you know, the quality of the image matters on the board. So pick a good one, right? The other thing I would encourage is I searched for uh, 4K beach wallpaper. You could search for, again, anything school appropriate, um, but that 4K was crucial there because your VenQ has a 4K display. So that means a lot of pixel, pixels, really high quality images. So make sure that you're finding an image that is high quality. Once you find one that you like, you can go ahead and hit save after adjusting it. I'm gonna move this just about right there. And then I'll hit save right down here. And then that's gonna take that image and I'm gonna hit apply. Now, if your image was perfectly proportional, 16 by 9 is what the uh, aspect ratio of the device is. It's not going to ask you to size it. It's just going to insert it for you there. And then in a second, it'll load right there for me. All right, there you go. So when I log into my BenQ board, and again, if I jump over to my BenQ board here, this is what my board looks like right now. As soon as I log in, which I will at the end of this, it'll show you that we picked a different icon or a different background, right? Wallpaper, sorry. The next thing down here is, uh, this is a good tip for you. If you want to uh, not drive yourself crazy, all right? So right here, it says idle sessions, log out 30 minutes. So if your class periods are longer than 30 minutes and you don't want to be automatically logged out out of 30 minutes of no activity, let's say kids are watching a movie or you're doing something else, you can go ahead and change this. In order to do this, you click the edit button right here and then it gives you a timer. How much uh, time do you want the screen to have until it logs out? I'm gonna click never for me, because this is just a demo. I don't want it to log me out in the middle of the demo, but there are plenty of options there. If you have uh, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 minute classes, you can go ahead and adjust that to whatever, all right? Once you've done that, hit okay. So later on, if you're using your BenQ board and you see that it automatically logs you out of the board after 30 minutes every single day, this is one of those settings that you can go back and adjust, okay? And I can show you how to do that on the board once we're logged into the board too. You don't necessarily have to do that in this web page, but it's helpful because we're right here to do it, right? The next one down, you can also pin apps. So I'm not gonna do that right now because you might not have any apps that are loaded from your department or whomever manages your BenQ portal, right? They may not have loaded any apps. But right here is what I'm gonna focus on right now. It says cloud storage. And for me, it gives me three different options, Google Drive, OneDrive, and uh, Dropbox. Your technology folks or whoever, again, is administering your BenQ may have removed some or all of those options. But for me, I left them all in there because I want to show you what it looks like. I'm going to link my Google Drive to this right now. All I have to do is click this link button right here. And then it should ask me to sign in to my school account. I'm going to click link. And then I have to scroll down a little bit and hit allow. And I might have to do that a couple of times. Um, maybe not. Actually, I'll have to do it on the board once I'm signed in there. So now notice that our Google Drive is linked. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get to the board. Essentially, 
you have a file manager program there that allows you to go in and browse whatever is in your Google Drive. Okay, so you can save files to it from the board and open files from that application once you're in it that are linked to your Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive, depending on which one you've linked. All right. You also have the option to link network drives. So maybe you have an H drive or an M drive that is collaborative that everybody shares. If your technology folks or whoever manages your BenQs set that up for you, they can. The same with printing. And then finally, adding bookmarks. All right. So if you want to add a bookmark, a website that you visit on the daily, this is where you can add that here. And then I'll show you how to access those. So for me, I'm going to click edit and I'm going to go to, oops, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and I'm going to click add at the top and we'll name this bookmark. We'll call it Google. And then I'll link a URL, google.com, and then I'll click add. Okay. So now I have one bookmark in there. And when we log in, I'll show you where those bookmarks are. Now tip on this real quick. The deal is when you click on this link, it's going to open up your default web browser and take you there. You'll have to sign in if it is a web page that you have to sign into with credentials almost every single time. So if that's not something you want to do every single time, don't link that specific bookmark there. I would do it maybe to a YouTube video or something like that. The best case scenario I've seen for this is news sources. If a social studies teacher or something like that has news events that they open up every day and that's part of a bell ringer for kids, They'll open up a website, go straight to it so that they can not have to connect their computer to the BenQ. That works really well. The same with lower grades, those YouTube videos that have kids dance and jump around to get the wiggles out in the morning. So you don't need to be logged into YouTube. You can just click on the video and it'll start to play automatically. So two good examples of how I would use that bookmarking feature. All right. So let's jump back to the Chromebook. We've already set this up. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I have one bookmark there. So you're good right now. You don't need any other settings on this page. The only thing I would suggest you do is up at the top, you could actually bookmark this web page. The quick and easy way to bookmark it is just hit the star right there and that adds it. But I like my bookmarks organized. I don't have any bookmarks here. I like to drag the little uh, lock and then move that down to where it needs to be. So I know that hey, this is the BenQ AMS link, which allows me to get back in and change all of these things, okay? So let's jump over to our BenQ now. And I have my BenQ board to the left uh, of me, but I also have a wireless keyboard and mouse plugged into mine. So I'm gonna cheat and just tap on those. And then we're gonna click on the login button. Type in Mr. Griptastic at mplsd.org and then we'll switch over to the password and then we'll go ahead and type that in so if all is correct we'll go ahead and click login here and what we should see is my background change okay now my background will change and did it do it there it is so now i have a new background right there and it did take a second the first time we logged in but you'll notice a couple of things in the lower corner over here, you'll see that it says Mr. Griptastic right there, and it has a little icon. You'll also notice that I have a lot more options now that I'm logged in. So let's check out some of those things. So if I click on this icon or tap this icon right on the board, this is my file manager. And what this is going to allow me to do is jump right into any one of those drives that I linked. So there's my Google Drive. I could go into my Google Drive file and I could pick an open any file or I could save anything right to those files. Okay. So awesome option right there. The only way this works was to link our Google drive account here inside the application that we just made. All right. Now let's jump over and see where those bookmarks are hiding. So if I click down here at the bottom and I click on bookmarks, you can see the upper right tab. If I click right there. You'll see there's those bookmark links. And if I click that, that opens up the web browser and takes me to google.com. OK, so very easy to do to go ahead and do that. You can't change or edit these bookmarks on the board. You can only do it in that BenQ portal that we have. And the last thing on the list is where those settings are hiding to go ahead and adjust your uh, picture profile or your wallpaper from the board. All right. This is completely possible to do from the board as well. But the key was that we had to create that BenQ account first. So if I go down to the bottom and click on whatever my user profile picture is, 
So this gives me the option to change my thumbnail, my wallpaper, and change that logout time. So again, if your device is logging out after 30 minutes, you can go and change that to never right here, and that will synchronize and save with the website. So I hope you found those things interesting. And if you want, you can go ahead and bookmark this page right here. It's service-portal.benq.com. And that will go ahead and get you logged in so that you can change any of those settings from a web page. But again, the majority of those settings, with the exception of the bookmarks, are all changeable on the board. All right. So thank you very much for watching and have a griftastic day. Thanks.